you know, it was interesting today because, of course, there's there's uh, um, she she she's giving her speeches now, especially with her and Trump going back and forth in the aftermath of the Orlando massacre. Um, their comment, her commentary about radical Islam and certain countries need to stop financing, you know, terrorists and stuff like that. There was a um, there was a meme or a tweet or something about how some of the countries she's calling out donate money millions to her found to, to their foundation. Um, someone else then pointed out that you know some of these countries have some of the most abusive and atrocious policies towards women, right? right. And then now today. Someone pointed out that those countries, uh, some of them also, you know, they they not only persecute but execute people for being gay. And it, and it is you do start to question at what point do you draw the line of being able to su support someone? Like I understand, I understand everyone's feeling Trump is bad, Trump is evil, Trump is scary. Um, I don't know what to tell y'all. Like Trump is bad, Trump is evil, Trump is scary, but. <laughs> Hillary Clinton just says the same stuff. She just does so really nicely. Yes, um, exactly. exactly. They both talked about radical, radical, radicalized Islam yesterday, right? You have POTUS saying, I mean, I'm not going there. Like, what does that even do? What does that even do? And you, she's falling, like you, like you said, she's playing on their territory, on their field, using their language. And regardless of whether and this is not to say if people if you know if people decided that they, they feel that they got to do what they got to do like keeping trump out is more important more power to you you know as long as you know that's what you're doing but she needs to be she does need to be addressed she does need to be called out on this and we do need to question what this actually means for women because we can say we need to uplift women we need to do stuff for women but which women who how and on whose terms are we doing this because at the end of the day she is still a rich corporatist, woman, excuse me, woman or otherwise, she still holds a certain position in society that most of us will never even come close to. Well, this is what I have to say about that, too, is that when people appeal to me that I need to vote for her, um, I've never been so heartbroken as with the Gloria Steinem comments that the Bernie support, because the women who are Bernie supporters want to go where the boys are. Yeah. And it was just like, we can't demand equality mm -hmm. if we're going to say, but you can't attack me. You can't come at me. You can't discuss with me the same way you do with the boys because right. I'm a woman. If I always have to address you because you're a woman, that's not equality. And th these are the kinds of things that make people look at feminism and go, well, this is where you want preferential treatment. And we don't need yep. preferential treatment. We want to be, you know, on equal footing. And we can't just keep asking for adjustments and ask to be on equal footing. And that's what I feel like she's done for her election is say, well, you know, I'm here. I'm a woman. So you should just support me just because I'm a woman and you're a woman. Right. If you're a feminist. You must support me. And I'm, I'm proud of her. Let me just say, in my lifetime, if she makes it all the way, <clears throat> she makes it all the way. And... <laughs> And I've seen the first African-American president mm -hmm. and the first woman president. Right. But there's only going to be one of those that I'm going to be very proud of. And mm. it's just, and, <laughs> and, and I have to say when um, Obama spoke a couple days ago, it was another little twist of the knife because it was like, you can't think of anyone better for this position. Right. And I'm like, you literally were in the room with the other candidate. You cannot tell me after the things she said about you. So when I see these sort of political games being played in, like I've never had any illusions that Obama was anything but a politician, but right. I think he did an excellent job with his presidency. Right. But when I see the politics being played, I've got to call him out too. Yes, definitely. Um, that definitely was a bit of political theater happening there. Yeah. Um, yes. <laughs> and has yes, continued yes, to do so. Uh, I, I was kind of miffed when I saw the letter in my email in my inbox from him about how I need to be with her. I'm like, dude, are you serious? <laughs> Just because you forget, it's like when you, it's like when 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 your girl when your girl breaks up with her with her with her dude and he did her so dirty, yes. and he's still mad for her. Right. <laughs> they may have <laughs> made up. They may be back together. 
but you still so mad that you won't even you won't even so bring you Brandon no more. Like, I haven't forgotten, or like, my I've got a daughter. Uh huh. She posted. She was just like, my mom has not forgotten what you t- did or said about me. <laughs> it's the same way. It's yes, it like, is. No. It is exactly the same. Like what we love, we love so hard and so fiercely, and we're so loyal. But it's just like I understand. It was very weird for me because yesterday, someone who I who I trust like so much and respect so much, and their opinion is like probably top five people in the world. Their opinion matters in the top five most to me ever out of anybody. Um. My heart broke a little bit when I was told that, you know, I'm going to have to vote for Hillary and I'm going to have to go out there and work for her. I said, you going to do what? I said, you know what? I love you. And if you feel like you got to vote for Hillary, OK, but you don't got to lift one finger to help that woman win. All the millions of dollars and all the political machine they got going on, they got that. You don't have to you don't have to put your integrity, your reputation on the line. Um for that person, but but it's the fear. You know what I'm saying? I think that people have not seen someone as polarizing and and concerning as Donald Trump. And there are a lot of people, a lot of so-called good progressives who are starting to say the same exact thing. Trump is so scary, we have to keep him out. But at what cost? And, and what are we, everyone just saying, oh my God, let's just support Hillary because we gotta keep Trump out. Even if you do support her, what are you what are you leveraging that support for? Yeah, and it's, it goes with the hashtag. And I, I want to think about what a candidacy, what a run for president has come down to when you have a hashtag that says, girl, I guess I'm with her. I mean, <laughs> that's, exactly. and that's the only emotion that you got people like. dragging themselves you know, flailing themselves on the way to the the, the election booth. What platform are you running on? What and the fact that there's so many people? black women attached to the hashtag too is hilarious, right? Because black women supposedly just love Hillary Clinton so much. There are so many of us, like I saw someone had a gif and it was a gif of Rihanna like tearing something, like throwing something at somebody. <laughs> and I was like, that's me voting for Hillary. Like, <clears throat> <Yeah>. <laughs> and, you know, and I, I really, I mean, this is something that, you know, it really is one of those issues where I think about it and I go, I may, you know, put my, all my eggs in this basket because this is where my my heart is. This is where, because my, right. my politics doesn't come from, um, well, let me vote for this because this is the, the move and then four years from now I can make the move. Right. I'm looking at someone, my, my political views come from, I, I'd like to think my compassion in my heart. And so I have to vote with my compassion in my heart. And I really have to vote for the person that I feel has put their heart and passion into other people consistently through the years, not just suddenly, not on a flip flop, because I can go over to this meeting today and I can say, oh, I believe X, Y, and Z, and then go to another meeting down the street the same day and say, well, I'm really for A, B, and C. And then right. try to make us right. believe at the next town hall meeting that it was okay, that it, it was all the same thing and it just never happened. It's just like, you know, a, that sleight of hand, it never happened. And I'm like, no, it, it is happening and it's happening consistently and we have video proof of it. The internet has been the biggest... Yeah, you know, like... The, Everybody's like, got their camera phone. You, you're not going to be able to hide those things. And I really feel like they had to really just work extra hard to overcome that. Because I think if we had, if we had a play a, a, a regular playing field in terms of like regular media, in addition to the media that we've all developed over the last several months, um, I think it would be a lot tougher climb for her. We'll see how things shake, shake out, you know, over the next several months. 